What's up guys, Ken Zeni here. You've been asking me lately a lot about what kind of bike to buy, uh, alloy or carbon, what kind of components the bike should have because it's the middle of March right now and the new season is coming up. Uh, but today I'd like to turn your attention to a very important fa factor in my opinion uh, that uh, we just uh, miss somehow, we don't think about it so much uh, and if we do, we don't know what's better really. I mean the cable routing on our frame set and on our uh, shifters. Uh, the shifting performance matters a lot for us and when, when, the bikes, when the bike is shifting very crispy and smoothly we do feel that the bike is like high quality, good quality, we do feel fine and it applies uh, also for braking. So which one is better? I've been uh, testing lots of uh, road bikes and mountain bikes and I must tell you that for all these bikes uh, I have just uh, one conclusion. The external cable routing is much, is way better than the internal, y, internal one and I'm gonna share with you why do I think so, why do I feel so. It applies both uh, for mountain and to mountain and road bikes uh, except for the shifters. Uh, so let's just start by saying what's the external and the internal cable routing. Let's start with the shifters. You can see SRAM Apex on this bike and uh, Shimano Sora on this one. What's the difference? You can just see very clearly that this one has uh, a cable here coming out and this one, there is no cable around this shifter because um, this SDI has um, two cables inside the same like this one because it has to be shifting and braking but both are being routed here internally just under the bar tape and they go out right here and then one will go to the brake, the caliper brake, and the other one to, uh, to the um, derailleur. Now on this one, we have the braking cable being routed under the tape, and it comes out uh, right here, you can see that, but the shifting cable is being routed, routed externally. Now uh, I'm not saying <laughs> that you should be looking for the shifters with the external cable routing because uh, there is less and less components uh, with the external cable routing. Uh, I've switched from newest Altigra 6800 and 105.5800 to older Altigra 6700 because I do uh, prefer the external cable routing. But anyway, uh, the shifting performance and the maintenance, in terms of maintenance, the external uh, cable routing on your shifters is just better. Let me explain that by going further down the frame. So as you can see, those housings are coming uh, just from under the bar tape and then they go here to the cable stop. We have the bar barrel adjuster, the cable stop is here and then you can see the cable coming down and through this little um, guide and then both cables, one will go to the front derailleur and the other one to the last part of the housing and the rear uh, derailleur. Easy peasy, uh, same for the brakes, right? The brake on this side will go through such cable stop on that side and then go to the last uh, piece of the housing and then to the caliper brake. What about the internal cable routing? Now we have a very very cool frame here, this is a Rose uh, Pro SL uh, with the internal cable routing and I'm gonna just put you up here and show you how does the internal cable routing look like and why it, it's not that good in my opinion, alright? So, as you can see, you cannot see any uh, cable stops or, or, or um, like just here uh, externally because we only have the two holes in the head tube and one hole on the top tube here. Uh, when the cable goes from the shifter from under the bar tape it will simply uh, go here to this little hole and then the cable itself, this is the housing and the cable will just go internally for the shifters it will just go through this port, come out and then one will go to the front derailleur and the other one to the rear derailleur. 
on some frame uh, the, the cable to the rear derailleur will still go inside the chain stay and we'll have a little hole here and then the last part of the housing here we have a, a cable stop for for the last uh, part of the housing so that's it for the shifters and for the brakes it will just go right here then internally and go out there now why is the internal cable, ru cable routing much worse than the external one first off it's uh, much more complicated in, in terms of the maintenance because we don't have the access uh, to the uh, cables and uh, also routing the new cable through those little holes for different systems, different frames, different manufacturers can be really pain in the you know what. Uh, but maybe even more important thing is the shifting and braking performance is much better on the external uh, cable routing usually on i would say on maybe 90 percent of the bikes the external y uh, one with maybe same housing same cable will be better and why let me show you um, the less um, the less um, curves on or bending on our housing we have on our frame uh, the better shifting will be now let's look at the braking cable for example the housing will go here so we already have uh, a longer uh, band here and then it will go through the top tube and it will go up here and the cable would, would want to go just up there but it has to turn once more down to the uh, to the caliper brake so we have like s band cable here it has to do one band here then internally and another band there uh, it will apply also to the internal mm, housing uh, you, to the uh, shifting uh, cables usually but now I'm gonna show you how does it look like on the external Y one I'm just gonna put Rosa on the floor alrighty so let's just see what happens here what happens here is that our housing goes right to the cable and then straight with no bending no as you can see this cable doesn't have to go once again inside the frame and then go out but just go straight down to the guide, straight to the housing. Awesome. It will be same for the uh, braking cable. It goes straight from one stop, a cable stop, to another one. Awesome. Why is it so important? Let's just look at the housing. How does the housing work when we are shifting? I'm shifting now from the 10th to the 9th gear. Can you see the housing moving? It moves, it moves a lot actually and each move, each uh, like millimeter of movement, of play of, on the housing means less shifting performance. It means that the, the derailleur has to, uh, or our fingers uh, have to go, have to make even more work in order to really pull this uh, cable and pull the derailleur and then change the gear. So here it will just bend a little bit here but there is no bending whatsoever here because the housing goes just straight to the uh, cable guide if it was to go a little bit further and then uh, bend inside in, into the frame and then uh, outside outwards it will always uh, make our shifting and braking perform performance worse so that's it that's what I really feel, that's what I feel about my Kendall Cat 10, which I really love. Uh, those uh, shifting cables are, are routed externally, but the braking cable goes like here to the uh, head tube and then inside and then down, down there to the caliper brake. And I do feel some bending, some more bending uh, on the housing on my bike. Now, maybe one more thing uh, I'd, I'd like to uh, for you to, to um, discuss when you are looking at different bikes is also when the cable stop is and in my opinion this place is not the best place for the cable uh, stop or cable guide uh, to be let's just compare this one with this one 
As you can see here we have a longer housing. Once again, the cheaper bike, the less problems. Um, and this cable stop would be like here on the Carver bike I've just showed you. Here it goes further. Why is it better? Because um, this housing has the chance to bend on a longer uh, area and it will not break. Here, when we are turning the wheel, you can see what's happening to the, to the housing. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying that uh, it should be a little bit further uh, in my opinion. It's same with my Cannondale. My Cannondale has like one uh, little hole just here uh, on the top of the head tube and this uh, bike came already with a broken housing. My Cannondale came already with a broken housing out of the box, brand new. Uh, it, was, it looks same here on this Rosa. Those holes are exactly on the head tube, so it's not the best place to be in my opinion, uh, for, those, uh, for those cable guides or cable uh, stoppers. So that's it for the external and the internal cable routing. Uh, it, for me, it's very, it's just obvious. A just classic design with external cable routing, it's uh, simpler. Uh, yeah, one more thing I want to show you is also that on the external one, we have very easy access to the cable. We can inspect the cable and clean it. All right, so I'm just uh, shifting to the larger cox, then shifting back. Now my cable is just loose, uh, making sure that the cable here is already clean. I'm just taking it off and I can, I can see what's happening to my cable. If there is any coating on the cable, you will be able to see whether the coating is uh, coming off. If you want to uh, clean it, you can clean it. If you want to put some just bit, uh, some film of the oil of the lubric lubricant, you can do it. No problem. You will be able to do, to do it with this um, housing, you will be able to do it with this housing here. Just simply take it off. Uh, the internal cable housing, especially when the cable comes inside the chainstay as well, and then there is a little hole here, will be, it won't be more difficult. It will be just impossible for you to inspect and clean the cables. In my opinion, it applies especially for the mountain bikes uh, when you are all, always or often going through some mud and dirt. Uh, I would be happy to have access to my cables on my uh, mountain bike. So that's it, guys. I'd like uh, you to. I'd like to ask you guys to share uh, your opinion maybe you've switched from external to internal or from internal to external and also uh, maybe if you're having different methods from for, for guiding the cable through the internal uh, cable system on your frames let us know in the comment section i'll be happy to talk with you once more sorry for my english i'm really striving to uh, to um, improve and i will i promise thanks for watching thanks for your support and i will see you soon Bye-bye.